Hi guys, it's Joe Duncan. I hope you are very well. So, again, forgive um, delayed in the videos. So, I'm going to try a little something differently. Now, in the previous video, I asked if you found the quality of the camera better. So, I'm kind of using um, my phone again just to see <coughs> if that was a fluke or if it was um, better quality. And I've also had a few comments about my whisper being a little bit too low. So I'm trying to softly spoken instead. Um, as you can tell, I have fashion flu. Um, where are we now? It's Friday. A couple of days ago um, was the finish of London Fashion Week. So my schedule has been somewhat crazy. <clears throat> I actually originally planned on doing a lot less shows than actually happened. But this season was absolutely fantastic. I actually haven't enjoyed Fashion Week as much for uh, the last couple of seasons. Just because they've been incredibly overcrowded um, and so a bit too much for my anxiety. But this season I actually found it really fantastic. We only had one day of bad weather, <clears throat> um, which was the first day. And actually I, I managed to avoid it. Which was, was quite good. Um, when we were dressed up for Fashion Week, the last thing you want to do is get too wet. Um, and it was actually unseasonably still warm. And um, if you've never seen a show or never been, they get so hot um, to the point where um, you can be in the t-shirts and, and still be sweating. And we're all rammed in quite closely together. Um, so you get quite intimate with people you may or may not know. Uh, luckily I was that with um, a lot of friends, which is always really nice that way, and you can all tell each other if you smell or not. <laughs> um, so this is kind of more of a catch-up talk over Fashion Week, show you a few bits and pieces, and again test quality and noise. Um, I will do some of my normal whispering throughout as well, um, but perhaps up close. Um, hopefully I enunciate enough for you to understand, especially with the cold, it can kind of nasal but um I've actually had a few comments on videos when I've had a cold before that people quite like that um tone <clears throat> and so um if that's you then I might whack a few videos in one go um while this is around because hopefully it doesn't stay too long because um Glenn and I are away um this coming Thursday um, we both can't wait. The spa is going to be fab. Um, very much needed for both of us. Because Glenn works far harder than I do. <clears throat> so I thought I would show you a few bits and pieces that are around me. Um, that I had at Fashion Week. And um, kind of go through there. So um, one of my all-time favourite designers. And favourite shows every season. It, it gets better. And, and this season was awesome was Ashley Isham and uh, this was the invitation um, with the hummingbirds. I actually really really like it. I'm going to be able to see if I can get the sticker off and actually frame that because I just think it's really really pretty I think um, on a sort of neutral background I just think super super pretty. And then the advice on the back here <clears throat> and this is Ashley Isham spring and summer uh, 2017, 17th of September 2016 at 3.30pm and it was at Fashion Scout, uh, Freemasons Hall and then has um, information on PR and it was Pop PR, Portia and Fran. Um, thank you so much my tickets girls and all the team, amazing shows. And then it has um, some of the sponsors, so Crabtree and Elvelyn are in there as well as my friend Jamie and then along the bottom it has Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for, for Ashley as well so um, do check him out and it has sort of like a club Tropicana vibe to it there were inflatable toys, one was a unicorn which I was actually sat right next to which is insanely cool um, there's something about Ashley's shows that invoke such um, an incredible mood actually they're very fun to watch and the music is always very thought about and 
he left feeling really happy and I think that's um, a really lovely thing. And the clothing, the, the details is just impeccable, he's so clever at what he does. <clears throat> okay, where should we go next? Um, I was sent a really beautiful necklace um, to wear. I originally wanted to wear this on, I think it was a Saturday when I was doing um, this kind of colouring. Um, but unfortunately they couldn't get it to me on time and they didn't have the bracelet to match at the time. So they kindly sent me just the necklace which I wore on the last day of Fashion Week. Yes. <laughs> you can tell I'm well. And I'm just looking as well. I had a peel a couple of weeks ago. My skin has looked great for all of Fashion Week to the point where I was like, oh my gosh, you look so well. Two days into having a gold, I look rubbish again. I'm like, yay. <clears throat> um, so this is from Stars London. I think the box is really sweet as well. And inside is sort of a velvet pouch with the logo. And this, oh gosh, is the necklace itself. Absolutely divine. I just think it's so, so beautiful. Um, they started following me on Instagram, I followed them back, and then had a mass binge of liking everything about their jewellery. Um, and the tennis bracelet that matches this is stunning as well. I couldn't find a ring to match um, on their page, but they do do rings. So I wore this with my aquamarine <clears throat> and some of my diamonds. And uh, so, so pretty. I like the way it's all finished. It's in sterling silver, and I want to say topaz and something else. You know, the memory is, is amazing. And it has the, the logo there as well. Forgive Barbara for not being dressed. She has been dressed for a while. Um, I ended up wearing the outfit she was wearing, <laughs> um, which is now at the cleaners. But absolutely beautiful. I wore this with... Um, a couple of necklace actually, a uh, short just diamond stud, this and then a long um, string of diamonds and so so beautiful but I definitely think alone um, divine, I plan on wearing that a lot, um, I love greys and blues, they're kind of my favourite palettes to wear so that will be very very pleasant and then if I get my fingers on the braces as well I'll be even happier. <clears throat> I attended the Zoella apartment with my gorgeous friend Laura a few days before Fashion Week actually and um, we got to try some of the, the newer products and then um, I've just had a bath actually and this is the Zoella Beauty um, Christmas bauble. You can have a little string and, and attach them to your tree. I call it a Hanukkah bush and um, I'm blocked but um, I can tell it smells like gingerbread and um, it's really lovely actually. Um, not too glittery even though you can see sort of glitter inside. Uh, this scent is perhaps a little touch more uh, sort of aimed at slightly older um, sort of fans. Um, the whole apartment itself is very beautifully decorated with a lot of the beauty and, and now lifestyle and uh, bits and bobs sort of aimed at sort of all of the sort of age group that are interested and obviously being my age I'm still very interested and uh, her scrub I think is incredible and I'm so glad that's been brought back into new packaging. <clears throat> There's also candles and lots of lifestyle things which will be dropping for Christmas within Debenham Super Dark and Boots as well. Um, really nice to see sort of the home wear develop as well. <clears throat> um, and speaking of boots, I also got to do the boots. Was it, I think it was, was it Christmas and Halloween, or was it just Christmas? I think it was just Christmas. And um, there was a really lovely talk, and then there were stands if you should go and, and sort of visit round. And um, really lovely. Uh, benefit with that as well, so I got to see Benefit Girls, which was really nice, <coughs> Steve and Glory, um, and then a few other brands that work alongside Beats. And now Beats obviously do incredible deals on fragrances over Christmas, so you know the coffee sets and things as well. Um, and they were actually doing really lovely gifts 
for the people that attended. Um, I only have one to hand, because I've been wearing the other one at Fashion Week, so, um, but I can kind of show you as such. So this is the Gucci Bamboo fragrance, this is the Eau de Parfum in 50ml, and um, the people that were invited were very, very kindly um, given these, and hopefully you can see this one has my initials on. Um, the original one, which is in one of my bags, had Lewis Duncan on, which was so, so sweet, but they missed my hyphen, <clears throat> and, and I was like, oh, it doesn't matter, um, I can you know, scratch one in or something, and they were like, no, no, we're really, really sorry, and they actually disappeared and came back ten minutes later with this one, so I feel very, very blessed to have had two fragrances and them, and being Parfum as well. Um, this is available in not just every boots, I think it's the larger boots, definitely the London um, stores if you're near London, or perhaps give your uh, local boots a call pre-hand. Um, I live in quite a small town, um, and our boots um, doesn't do it, um, but and you can obviously get the fragrances and then perhaps take it to another. Um, and as far as I'm aware, it's a free service. I'm pretty sure it's a free service, because I had Glenn's done last year on his Dior and um, I just think it's super super charming to have um, a fragrance with the initials it just makes it really special um, I keep really nice bottles Archer's as well and so this and the, the Lewis Duncan one are definitely going to be kept out on my dresser and the fact it sort of blends really beautifully with um, my room as well and um, this is actually a really lovely scent Again, block, so trying to kind of um, describe is a little bit harder. But I say this is a really nice day fragrance, um, which then can be um, overlapped with the body moisturisers and things to kind of build it up a little bit for the night time. I think it's a really beautifully made fragrance. I think all of the Gucci fragrances are really charming. Um, I don't think it says, which is a shame, but um, I just think it's a, a sort of a festive present. I think that's really really charming. Um, we also got to go to the um, the Nay Museum and the Natural History Museum for two shows. I don't know if you've ever been, they're fab, but add them into your fashion uh, context. It's just incredible to watch. Um, one of the sort of shows was um, a is it Japanese or Chinese brand? Hashtag BBBF and um, they were showing off uh, so it says as part of Paris Fashion Week and London Fashion Week the China Ball so Chinese duh um, and then they had um, a ball where we all got to dress up which was super super fun I got to attend with a few of my friends and they gave us all a little gifts which is in this box here it might sort of give you an indication the models were wearing um, sort of backpacks and, and bear fragrances and gosh let's not make that for and this was my little bear that I received as well and um, a bear and lumberjack I just think the connotations is quite amusing with these little um, leather or leatherette um, bow tie they're super sweet the rose gold hook there and then he has a little zipper pocket which does undo uh, and um so you know bag charm or whatever um i think he's gonna look quite cute on my burgundy uh, burberry bag and i just quite like the rose gold as well i thought that was quite sweet but i thought he was a really quite adorable bear and he had quite a few different ones on display as well so really nice <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm just going to have a quick. Oh, I think coughing is never attractive. Where are we next? Uh, the Vin and Omi show. Um, if you've ever seen one of the boys do, it's so incredible. Uh, they actually did some bits and pieces for absolutely fabulous and um, so worth checking out. So, this really, really pretty scarf was in my gift bag. And um, whether I or Glenn will wear it, probably both of those. Um, as a pocket scarf, I just think it's so sweet. I think the print detail is so, so pretty. And um, the little butterflies there. And they're really good. So slightly gothic elements to it as well. Really lovely. Um, 
<clears throat> By now you know I work a little bit with the cohorted beauty box tips, so I've been lucky enough to receive quite a few. I re uh, received the one for September and it included this Cargo Cosmetics um, palette. And this is called Land Down Under Eye Palette and it's Cargo, Cargo Cosmetics New York. And this one has its textured. Which opens up. <coughs> and inside there was a brush and a eyeliner. And I'm um, hopefully you can see the pigmentation on these are fantastic. Really, really vivid. And we pick a nude as well because the nudes are so pretty. Um, I haven't been daring enough to wear the two blues yet, but I have worn a lot of the nudes and they blend like butter and are really long lasting. I remember Kage um, quite a few years ago and I remember loving one of their mascaras actually and then finding it hard to get in the UK. This is really nice. This has probably been my favourite and that's called Joey and that's a sort of nudie matte so and all over a blend colour, it's really beautiful, it gets pushed against my skin tone being quite fair, it's very very pretty. And um, that's a full size palette as well, which is really really nice to receive, so I've been using that quite a lot. Um, oh gosh, I have got the fragrance there. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. I think you can tell I've been wearing that. Um, And then, no I can't touch that because that will fall down from the camera. And um, I've been using the Bowtie and Burt Hydrating Toner um, just in between to keep fresh. But that's what's holding the camera up so we won't go there just yet. Um, so I have everything I wanted to talk about. I think so. Oh no, one more. Um, I got to do some filming at the W7 and Stian show. They were the makeup sponsor of the event. Um, I went backstage and did a little makeup look and I happened to be wearing this and this is probably their most popular colour, especially at the moment with winter coming and berry looks on the lip being really strong. Very beautiful colour. Um, I like to push this into the lip to sort of create stain first and then build up the layers so you don't end up with it all over your teeth and face. Um, I think a lot of darker colours can be quite intimidating uh, for someone so building up these really light layers are a way of, of getting the colour tone to feel a little bit softer and, um, and then sort of stop when you're already because that can be quite bold look but personally I think it's quite divine. Got that heart and um, W7 is such an affordable fantastic quality range actually so totally recommend them. Um, where else are we going with that? I think I'm quite happy to cover that aspect. Um, if there's any particular shows or anything like that you'd like me to cover or perhaps show some outfits or something uh, do let me know I do apologise for that umming and ahhing when you're, you're not well I just find myself thinking what am I saying hopefully uh, it came across okay do let me know about the quality of camera um, tone of voice as well and um, hopefully speak to you soon that's lovely